interactive and grab your phones and tablets and send that message and Facebook comment. I shall see you. Hey. Merry Christmas, Steve. Many happy returns. Today, <laughs> me and you are height the we same level. The same level. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm not intimidated by height. No way. Shop, shop. I personally did that. <laughs> you want so, to make Merry me happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Christmas is celebrated to commemorate the birth of Christ. And during the spirit, people give gifts for many reasons. Now, people who love and follow Jesus give gifts to remember the gift of God, Jesus. Some people tell the story of Santa Claus, a preterned figure whose kindness in giving gifts originates with Saint Nicholas, who did, in fact, give gifts to the poor. But Santa Claus has nothing to do with the true meaning of Christmas. Today, on JNI, we will be discussing Christmas gifts during Christmas and why we present them. This is JNI with me, Aishi Bryan. Joy News Interactive is brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time. So Join Us Interactive is proudly brought to you, supported by Surfline. Surfline, it is about time. Let's now uh, get interactive and you can interact with us on our, our social media platforms. Um, you can interact with us on my, on Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp and you'll see the numbers uh, rolling on your screens. Uh, you can join us in, in our interaction. Today, we're talking about Christmas and gifts. Christmas gifts during Christmas, and why should we present them? And so I'm saying that you can interact with us, and you can interact with us on facebook.com forward slash joy news on TV and twitter.com forward slash joy news on TV at joy news on TV and at JNI or JN Interactive Ghana. You can email us on joy news IM at multi TV world.com and also WhatsApp us on the number 0540109009 and let's get interactive. And so my teammate Mina went to town earlier. Her question to you was, when was the last time you presented a gift to someone? When was the last time you also received a gift? Let's go for our first video blog and see what people are talking about. Actually, I can't remember. Yeah. I remember the one I gave the gift to. Rita Adam. Yesterday. Yes, please. I gave it to my sister and I gave it to my friend too. I'm um, actually, uh, let me see, I gave my sister a hamper okay. and a friend to a parcel. I gave the person drinks and food stuff. My grandma. Last year and this year too. Yeah. Uh, 24th December and this year too is 25th. Uh, I give them Paso Sanders. Yeah. My mom. What thoughts should go into your choice of Christmas gift? What is the significance of exchanging gifts during Christmas? Uh, very soon I'm going to have Reverend Jonathan online who would help us understand what we should give out for Christmas and why should we really give out gifts during Christmas? I always ask the question, is it compulsory to give a gift during Christmas? Sometimes you feel that 
you don't have it but because it's been done over time you want to do it and then later cry <laughs> it's called outside gentility home cry earlier on we posted some um, messages on our Facebook page and then a lot of the comments are coming in they're fantastic actually I like us to go on to our Facebook page and look at what's coming in what we posted when was the last time you received a gift for Christmas and when was the last time you gave someone a gift for Christmas and if Kwejriba says perseverance, uh, Mensa, okay, all of them are sending in comments. Robert Afagachi says, I want to win a soul for Christ this Christmas. Fantastic. That's a wonderful Christmas gift. Ali Al Hassan Sabato says, uh, only yesterday I had a gift from a friend who based who is based in France. I also like to win souls for the Lord Almighty. Good one there. John O'Kansi says the last time I received a Christmas gift is way back when I was a kid. But I gave gifts out yesterday and today. It's not about receiving, it's all about giving. Shalom. Well, many thanks for giving. And Jeffrey Jefferson Quenu, <laughs> for a minute I thought it was Jefferson Saki. Nothing, oh, I'm surprised, oh, hey, more time. Kwame Brako Ahen also says that. Uh, let's take Kwame Brako Ahen. He says, I want only Xmas SMS from my friends. Well, that's simple. Amos Ado says, can't figure out over one million years <laughs> then you need to look out for what the reason is for you not get, getting it maybe you are not giving i don't give so expect none well good philosophy and abdul jalil says i'm still waiting for my first time <laughs> dominic mensa oklu says i gave someone a gift last year but for myself i never receive any xmas gift in my life um dominic mensa oklu says what i want for xmas anything surprising well, maybe you need to surprise first, then you can be surprised. Junior loves Camry. Well, well, well. This year seems to be a cool Xmas for me, despite the doom so doom so. Well, my last gift was this year, some dollars, and just this morning I gave my niece and nephews their Christmas gifts. Wow, maybe you should bring the dollars for us to share. Keep on sending your messages and we'll read them right here on this platform. And let's get interactive on JNI. and i um, Pastor Jonathan is online. Reverend Say is online with me and he's going to help us understand. Because many a times you realize that uh, there are lots of uh, hampers, big hampers made up of assorted products from one rich family to another rich family. Often the question we ask is, do they really need these things when other families cannot even afford a fowl for Christmas? Yet, you find people delivering all these big hampers to those who already have it. Um, Reverend C, Merry Christmas and thanks for joining me on J&I. Greetings and Merry Christmas to you and all your listeners. Thank you so much. Um, let me ask you, um, who really deserves a Christmas gift? I believe everybody deserves a gift. There's the gift from God, who is Jesus Christ, and for everybody. Um, everybody deserves a gift. But is it, is it even gift. by force to exchange gifts during Christmas? Because sometimes you find out that uh, people don't really have, but they want to impress because that has been the norm. That, that is why it's a gift. A gift should be voluntary. And gift shouldn't also be based because you don't have. And the gift may also not be monetary. Um, God bless you is also a gift because you are asking God to bless somebody. I believe that's even the greatest gift anybody can ask for anybody. A gift can be spending time with a person, doing chores for the person, um, helping the person, bring your child so you can go have your weekend. It's also a gift. So gift is not just what you can place the uh, value on, but what somebody from his or her heart in appreciation. Because gift should be for appreciation. So the appreciation can go to a rich person because that person has done something good for you and you want to say thank you. So and your thanks can be in a gift to that person by a token, whatever it is. So, Reverend, is that to say that a word of prayer is enough as a Christmas gift? 
If that is what you have, God knows your heart. Because gift shouldn't be gift shouldn't be something that you feel compelled, even though you don't have or you don't want to. The Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. So gift should be something that you in your own volition said, This is what I want to do to appreciate this person. That person may be your boss, your colleague, your support mate, your pastor, your church member, whoever. But it must come from a heart that wants to give, not a heart of compulsion. And so let's look at who really deserves a gift. I ask this question again because except, a lot of everybody deserves a gift. A, a lot of in, poor people yeah. live around and who don't even have three square meals a day. Talk less of having a special meal on Christmas. Yet you see that gifts are going here and there, you know, to people who already have. What does the Bible say about giving gifts during Christmas? Oh, the, 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 the Bible talks about Taking care of the need. It's a Christian duty. You know, if I if I this must I buy things for my children, I haven't given them gifts. Because it's my duty to clothe them. In the same way those who have needs in society, it is the duty of those who have to take care of those who don't have. And that is a Christian duty. But between you and me, you may have done something for me during the year. I haven't had the opportunity to, to appreciate what you've done for me. So this is the time I can appreciate what you've done for me. You may not need the thing, but what I'm telling you is that I appreciate what you have done for me. It is the appreciation that is important. But for the needy in society, it is a Christian duty that you have more than enough instead of storing so for, for the dry day, take care of somebody who needs it today. So that's a Christian duty. I, if, if somebody doesn't have clothes to wear, and I give him clothes, it's not a gift. It's a duty I have performed. Just as I will clothe my child. Just as I will, I will give food for my child. And that's why if I feed my child, he won't say things because it's my duty. I hope you understand. Yes. Yeah, so, Reverend, say, let's look at yeah. Christians celebrating Christmas. Are they doing enough to help uh, poor people or the vulnerable, especially during this season? I believe many are doing, and it's not published yet. I believe people come to our homes. Even pastors, you have members come to our homes. Sometimes they come and you know that this is exactly what they need. Sometimes you look through the membership, you see that somebody has a need. This is the time you also show your Christian love. But um, um, I can say uh, we are not doing enough, uh, or we are doing enough. If we are not doing it, there are lots that people are doing which is not brought, it's done in secret. And that's what think Jesus encourages, don't blow your thumb trumpet when you do good. But as long as we see people in need around, it means that whatever we are doing is still just a tip of the iceberg. We are, there are still many unreached and uh, many who still don't have. And it is, and it is not just that it's that all of us as, as a duty, as, as a society, every time we must also think about the those who don't have. And uh, when Jesus talked about the neighbor, he talked about the good Samaritan, realized that the good Samaritan, the Samaritan and the Jew, they would never had anything in common. Yet, in time of trouble, it was the Samaritan who saved the Jew. And that is exactly the kind of relationship we should have as a people, that we are not from um, somewhere, we are not of a different tribe, but well, well, we are Well, many thanks to you, day. Reverend Say. That's yeah. all time will allow us. And we, we, we hope to keep the conversation on another platform. Thank you so much for joining us on JNI. And Merry Christmas once again. We'll take a short break on JNI. We'll be back shortly. So we
which is your favorite Christmas carol? Popular request and from the JNI production team. I would have loved to sing you one myself, but I guess uh, it may not be good. So uh, let's enjoy this tune. It's coming from us, um, the JNI team, and uh, by popular request. So it's still Joy News Interactive, live on Joy News. Hope you enjoy the little Christmas present we have for you. Well, we asked you earlier on what you want for Christmas. Now, let's see what people want for Christmas. <laughs> oh, that one, uh, <laughs> I think it will be something that I precious much. But a gift is something that you don't hope for. I mean, something that someone will just give it to you without any idea about that. If I should receive a gift, I think for now, I would like, I mean, uh, if I have um, BMW as a gift, it's nice thing to have that one. My want now is a ride, and if I get a ride, I think it will help me in all angles. For this Christmas, I think um, if I get a um, good uh, yeah, and uh, rice, I want to cook and me and my family to enjoy. Um, that's uh, last year. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, uh, I want a car. I want a car. Yeah, I want a car. Well, I, 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 would, I would love to take a car, probably to turn it into a taxi to be driving in town. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, two years ago, two years back. Yeah, yeah, two years back. In fact, during Christmas time, I don't used to receive gifts anyway. But uh, for this, I haven't received any gifts as of now. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if uh, it might come tomorrow, today, I don't know. Um, <laughs> money. <laughs> How do you want money for this month? Yeah, money to also do some other stuff. Actually, I can't remember. So we have been interactive on Facebook, and I told you earlier that the comments are amazing. Let's go on to our Facebook page again because there are a lot of messages coming in. Dominic Mensa Oklu again says, I gave someone a gift last year, but for myself, I never received any Xmas gift in my life. Dominic Mensa Oklu says again, what I want for Xmas, anything surprising. Well, you have never gotten one for your life. Um, I hope this year you would get one. Junior Loves Comrie says, Well, 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 this year seems to be a cool X mass for me, despite the doom so doom so well. My last gift was this year, some dollars, and just this morning I gave my niece and nephews their gift. Finally, my dream X mass gift is a Toyota Camry hybrid with personalized number plates. Wow. <laughs> dream big. <laughs> Ahmed Turi, I hope you're not a brother to Marion Turi. Oh, I remember way back in 2012, I received a palm top from a friend of mine all the way from Napoli, Italy. But this year, it's not over. I'm still waiting. Okay, so keep on waiting. Maybe luck will be on your side. Terry Solomon says, never in my lifetime. Maybe you don't give. So start giving, you may get. Ahmed Turi, oh, I remember way back. Okay. We read that earlier on. He says, way back in 2012, I received a palm top from a friend of mine all the way from Napoli, Italy. But this year is not over. I'm still waiting. My wishes goes to all Joy News crew. Thank you so much and we wish you same. Many, many happy returns. Um, Michael Ajonu says, hmm, I can't remember. And uh, Vossen Dustin says, can't remember any wish someone gets me a nice present have you given anyone a nice one already all i want for christmas is you hope it's not me probably joy news michael osebo says well i don't even remember the last time i received a gift since i became an adult but i just gave someone special to me an xmas gift kudos continue giving out it's all about giving mm -hmm. a newton jaffe says merry christmas to you all who are celebrating today. Merry Christmas to you. And Kwame Lassisi says, ha ha ha, I do not even know the last time I received or gave out a gift. Mousy Perfect says, last year anything presentable is okay. And Freddie says, I want Joycelyn Duma for Christmas. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> they keep on dreaming. Gideon Krumah says, I want God to favor me this Christmas. 
keep on praying god will answer and i want a ferrari good for you super anointing says what gift from someone no 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 but i just gave one of my friends a nice present i want anything you will give me okay so that's where we drop the curtains on our facebook page let's take a short break on uh jn interactive and we'll be back shortly Okay, so Stephen and T is in the <laughs> studio with me. That was a gift. <laughs> when was the last time <laughs> you eh? gave out a gift? Oh, oh, and, and what do you want for Christmas? Gift. I have a gift for you. My God. Oh, that's for you. Black secrets. Stephen. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. how, how did he? <laughs> oh, that's a gift for you. How did you Please, ask, don't worry. <laughs> Just ask me what I want. What do you want? I want the whole of Gassem. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> then take back your gift because I can't get that for you, Steve. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Stephen Anti, and uh, this is the Christmas edition. And uh, my name is Aisha Brian. Merry Christmas for, to you all. Thanks for hanging out to us. <laughs> Join News Interactive was brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time.